Looking into the centre of the knee joint, I can identify three surfaces, the articular cartilage on the femur, the tibia, and between the two is a semicircular structure called the meniscus. The meniscus is a type of cartilage that has two main functions. It helps spread a person's weight evenly across the joint, whilst also providing some stability. The meniscus is one of the most commonly injured structures within the knee often described as a cartilage tear. In this case, I've identified a torn fragment that has become displaced. This can cause significant pain, catching or locking of the knee, limiting the function of the joint. During this operation, I have found that the edge of the meniscus is frayed. A split or tear becomes visible when probed. Moving further round, I identify an even bigger tear with a loose flap of tissue becoming displaced. In some cases, tears can be repaired. However, if not suitable, the damaged tissue needs to be removed. An arthroscopic punch and shaver is used to remove the torn fragment. I use a shaver to remove any of the debris and loose fragments on the edge of the meniscus. In young patients, this type of injury occurs due to a forceful action, such as a deep squat, pivot or direct blow during sports. In older patients, less force is required to tear the meniscus and symptoms may develop more gradually. You can now appreciate how with using the shaver, all the loose fragments have been removed with the edge of the meniscus now appearing stable. And when compared to the start of the operation, the difference is clear. For this type of procedure, the patient normally goes home the same day, can return to driving in one to two days, and hopefully sports within four to six weeks.